A Terre Haute family is now one step closer to a new home, but getting to this groundbreaking wasn't always easy. It is not a handout, it is a hand up. The statistics are alarming. 26% of residents in Terre Haute are living below the poverty line. That translates to one out of every four residents in the city is living in poverty. That means buying a new home isn't in the cards for some. And that's where organizations like Habitat for Humanity come in. The organization helps provide affordable housing for those in need. Today, the Wabash Valley chapter broke ground on its 71st home. New for you tonight at 10, News 10 Sarah Lehman shares what this means for one family. Patrice, you can see this area of loose dirt here behind me. That's where the start of something new happened today. Habitat for Humanity and Indiana State University broke ground to start building a home for one lucky family. Three, two, one. Woo I am blessed, I am grateful, and I am honor for this opportunity for us. Dahlia Manalese and her two daughters have lived in Terre Haute for nine years, but have never owned a home here. I was afraid to apply before or to get my own because I'm a single mom and I have my small kids. So I said, if something happened to me, you know, I don't know what to say and what to do. But, but now, with help from ISU and Habitat for Humanity, it's a, it's a dream come true, you know, God turned into um, a dream into a reality. Heidi Mitchell, co-executive director for Wabash Valley Habitat for Humanity, says homes like these can change people's lives. Habitat homes are extremely important to the Terre Haute community. They are helping to have a nice, decent living home that's stable and it's theirs. It's something Manalese says she never thought she'd have again. I promised myself I'm not going to buy a home and I don't know it's just like God pushed me and in my heart that this is the right time for me to, to get a house. She says Habitat for Humanity is a blessing for her and her daughters. I know God will always provide so there's a lot of angels out there who will who are willing to help this you know project. And one of those angels is, of course, ISU. The school is sponsoring this home, but the cool thing about Habitat for Humanity Homes is the family who lives in the homes also helps to build it. Mitchell says the family will still pay mortgage on the house. She says it's not a handout, but a hand up. Back to you.